All right, you guys, I am super excited to try these out. So here are the Arteza pouring acrylic colors. So it comes in a pack of 32. I think the price is like $56 for it, but it comes in this pack. There's actually 28 colors because you get four of the titanium white and they come in two ounce containers. So I think I'm going to do a neon pour tonight because I was so excited that they had neon colors. So I'm going to show you what they, you know, what the consistency is and I'm going to do, I did a record ring for the um, Artist Loft pre-mixed paints. So I'll, I might do a variation of that tonight, but there are so many colors here. Let me get you set up and I'll take them out and show you some of them. All right, so here are most of the colors out of the package. So you've got Brilliant Red, Carnation Pink. Uh, is that Cerise? Cerise Pink. You, I'm sure you guys will let me know how to pronounce that. Rose Pink, Coral, Pastel Yellow, Forest Green, Thalo Blue. You've got all your metallic colors. I'm really excited, excited about using this color. It's Metallic Wine Red. Oh, that looks really pretty. Um, I, this is what I always like about Arteza is that they have always got a plethora of very bright, beautiful colors. So I'm super excited about that. There's two Mars blacks in there as well. And then it's got the four whites and then phthalo green, a couple yellows and a vermilion red. The vermilion red looks more red than it does vermilion to me. Vermilion's a little more orange than the ones I see. But anywho, so I'll be doing, I added the orange in there at the end, so I'm going to be doing all neons tonight. Super excited. And so let me put these up and get you down on the canvas and we'll get started. Okay, so I have my two cups of paint. Like I said, I think I'm going to use this one as the ring pour underneath and this one. Actually, I think I'll use this one and then this one on top because I want the white to be in the ring below. So I'm just going to pour these out and see right now. I'm just looking to see, are they mixing together? Um, what additional colors are they making? How are the rings holding up? So everything is pretty good. I see the purple bleeding into the white just a little bit. It's not much. Okay, so that's not bad. That yellow, I mean, that orange right there is beautiful. So I worked out the cost of these, and based on the other Artist Loft Ready Mixed pouring paints, um, the cost was actually only like one or two cents different if you split it out, you know, per ounce or per milliliter that you were using, because um, those bottles come in 500 milliliter bottles and these were 60 milliliter bottles. So you're gonna use them, you're gonna go through them if this is the only paint that you're using for sure. Um, but, you know, cost wise, and then if you use it through my link down below the video, you get 10% off. So that makes them like $50 for the whole box of colors, which for me, I think is pretty nice to have, um, even if you just wanna try them out. So I'm gonna come around this and I'll link my video where I did this before. So let me take you down. 
Ooh, these are so cool. These are going to be great skins. Okay, I said I wasn't going to do that, and now I'm doing it. But you guys know me. Okay, so let me take you down and show you. So first look at all of those. Those are pretty cool. They got a little bit muddy, but those are super cool. All right, so here's the painting. That's a really cool section up there. I hope that that dries translucent like that. Some cool stuff here. That was my favorite little corner down here. So I'm hoping that, you know, all of those little lines that look kind of crazy and wonky like that, that they stay like that. So I'll see and I'll show you guys the dried result and then I'll have my final kind of say on what I think of them. But I don't think that they're bad, honestly. I don't normally work with neons. So I think I'll do, um, somebody had requested a Dutch pour, so I think I'll do a Dutch pour with the Arteza and with the um, whatever I have left over from the Artist Loft and see how those two react as well. All right, you guys, so I'll see you once this dries. Okay guys, I wanted to show you, I totally forgot I had a black light, so my lights are out. Yes, I'm in my bathroom uh, because this is the only place that I could get no sunlight. Um, oh, how freaking cool is that? Oh, this is so neat. This is not specific to Arteza. Any neon paints will do this. But man, does that look cool. I had used the neon paints um, and bought a black light for my um, fluorescent colander pour that I did. But look at that. Obviously the white in this um, will not be, will not show up as well fluorescent, but all the other colors, wow. Super cool. All right, I'll show it to you in the daylight so we can talk about the review. See you in a second. Okay guys, here it is in the sunlight. So I'm not super impressed by the colors, but that could have just been, you know, the way that I layered them. I'm not super depressed, I mean, super depressed, super impressed with my, you know, design of the painting or anything. The rings actually didn't hold up as well as I thought. But again, I didn't use the same kind of pattern. What's cool is all this kind of overlayment that I got um, for the design. So that could really be used for something very useful in these paintings. Definitely did not dry like the Artist Loft paints either. Um, this one dried with basically just a regular matte finish, kind of as if you had used Floetrol. Um, so, but the colors are really beautiful. You guys got to see what it looked like in the black light. So having neons is definitely a, a great thing, I think, for the Arteza box. So as far as, let me just stand back and I'll talk to you about it. So as far as the consistency, it's a little bit thicker than the Artist Loft paints. Um, the price is about the same. So if you were going to say pros, they have lots of different colors to choose from. Um, it is, you know, a decent consistency, but again, that would go into the con list for me because I can't change anything about it. So I, I just need a, a lot more kind of fooling around, playing around with this, I think, to kind of make it what I want. Um, it held the lines pretty well. Um, it didn't dry with the glossy finish. So, meh. I'm kind of up in the air. The colors dry, I mean, they're they're vibrant. Like you can see the pinks and the blues in this. Um, so the colors themselves, I would say, just like Arteza always is, they're great. Um, so yeah, but you guys can let me know what you thought of the paints and let me know, oh my gosh, I'm shaking. And let me know if you've used them before. Um, and I have my links down below if you guys wanna check them out and get 10% off underneath the video. And how cool was that black light, right? So anywho, 
just a little experiment, testing out all the different supplies. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you. Have a good afternoon. Good night, wherever you are across the world. Happy painting. Bye. So I first wanted to show you what the consistency is like, and it's actually a little bit, oops, maybe if I was in camera that would be good. It's actually a little bit thicker than the, um, than the other paints. And if I were, you know, in the paint production company, I would make them thicker so that the people that are using them could make them, you know, thin to whatever consistency they want. So that's how that is little, little trace coming off the cup there. So that's kind of how I have my ring pours in the first place. So I'm actually pretty happy about that part. So, and I worked out the pricing. I'll tell you that in a second because I know everybody box it, you know, what the price is. So, but that is the consistency. I hope you guys can see that. And you guys can let me know in the comments. Have you used these before? Because they're brand new to me. Maybe only a couple of weeks. I've seen just a couple of artists that have been using them. Um, so I'm super excited. I'm going to get started. You guys always like to see how I pour the paints into the cup. So I thought I would add this at the end um, for those that wanted to see it. But I am basically just going to use two cups and layer the paints just however I want to and see how the design comes out, which ones kind of blend together since this is just kind of a product testing. I don't really have a, you know, an idea in mind. I did shake each of them and then, y'all look at how bad my fingernails are. <laughs> I did shake each of them and then um, let them sit for a second because I noticed that there was like a little bit thinner liquid on the top. So make sure that you do shake them. So I'm just gonna pour on in here and that's it. So let's see, I'm gonna go, I always like blue next to white as my first. Let me get all the tops off for you. All right, so I'm just gonna pour down the side of the cup like I always do for my ring pours. Oh, that's a great consistency. Then I'm gonna go down, it's always hard to do this while I'm on camera. I'm gonna go down the other side. And I'm gonna keep layering that way. Now I'm only gonna fill this halfway because I'm gonna have another cup, so I'm gonna do a different technique tonight. I'm gonna puddle pour on top, I mean a ring pour, and then do a figure eight. I did one of those a while ago, and I actually really liked how it came out. It was in these like weird orange and green colors, and I thought, psh, that's never gonna sell. And it was like one of the first things to, to go when I was at Sunfest, so you never know. All right, so I'm gonna try to do one more layer. Oh, I don't have my pink on there yet. I think I'll do pink on this side. Oh man, this is gonna be so cool. I'm really hopeful right now for a couple of reasons because the paints aren't bleeding into each other. Oh, I shouldn't have done blue on the yellow. I'll just have a bunch of green. Whatever, I'll just do it right there. All right, let me see here. I'm not gonna do any more white, and in my other cup, I'm not gonna do any white either. So what do I, what do I not have in there? Okay, well, blue and orange are complementary, so let's see if that makes any mud. I wanna save some for my other cup. Okay, so I think that's all I'll do for that cup. And then, is that enough? Yeah, I think that's enough. And then I'm gonna layer my other cup the um, kind of the same way. So, so that's how I layer my cup. Just kind of crazy wonky for ring pours that you know I'm not gonna that I don't want to look like something specific. And it's this is my split cup technique, you know, pouring it down the sides. That's what I call it, at least. I'm sure other people call it different things. But you get really cool 3D layers out of this instead of just pouring one layer at a time like you do for a straight pour. So, all right, you guys, thanks for watching. Happy painting. Bye.